So I did so gonna phone you. I'm saying it's your mother. And that day, yes, I bought so much. I see no. Obi and Mama didn't so be pure. If you feel enough, you walk through the day. I didn't know who I should move. I know that's me. I boy, yeah, Pam Obi. I know that's me. Any card, any be, I get an edru. I bought also. What's me? I can't go to be. No, no, no. They are too just say. Any day, I gonna need be. I know. One day, you know, a free. I bought so much. No, no, no. The registration of voters, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, is a critical process in our electoral cycle. The voters' register is a bedrock on which credible elections rest. It is the foundation upon which the sovereign right of a people to choose their national leaders is hinged. We would like to assure all of you that as a commission, our rationale for compiling a new register is not to disenfranchise any eligible voter. On the contrary, it is to ensure that all our citizens who qualify are afforded the opportunity to register and cast their votes. I urge all Ghanaians to move forward with the commission in implementing the ruling of the court. And indeed, this is a moment for all of us to move forward. It is time for us to turn our energies towards the exercise of registering voters. Let us join hands together, notwithstanding our differences, to ensure that every Ghanaian, every deserving Ghanaian of 18 years and above is able to register as a voter. Dear citizens, your participation in and monitoring of the voters' registration exercise will be crit critical to maintaining the integrity of the register. Please participate in the voters' registration exercise. Monitor the process at your registration centers and draw the attention of the commission to any anomalies you might observe in the process. Together, we will arrive at a comprehensive and credible voters' register. CI 126 specifies the document that each citizen of Ghana is required to present in order to be eligible to register as a voter. The required documents are a valid passport or a national identification card issued by the National Identification Authority. CI 126 further specifies that in an event that a citizen of Ghana does not have either of the above documents, he or she must present two guarantors who must themselves have registered under the current registration process to vouch for or guarantee the identity of the said person as a citizen of Ghana. As a commission, we have paid close attention to the signals from the government and from the Ghana Health Service, which suggests the latter approach. We have, in, this, in addition, held discussions with the national COVID-19 team established by the government and again the Ghana Health Service. We have taken the advice on best practice in curtailing the spread of the virus.